Okay, so finally nothing released an OTA update for Nothing Phone 2 which brings the most awaited features which were missing on Nothing OS 2.0. Example like Glyph Composer, Lock Screen Widgets and few other improvements over the previous build. So in this video we'll talk everything about this new build which is recently released for Nothing Phone 2. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my Nothing Phone 2. I have already updated the device. The update size was around 230 MB. So right now you can see the version which is 2.0.1 previously it was 2.0 this update comes with first june 2023 security patch and it runs android 13. if we talk about the change logs you can see a huge list of change logs which includes some new features camera improvements and some other system improvements by the way if you guys haven't seen a review video of nothing phone 2 you guys can find that video in the description button or the i button make sure to watch it once to know everything about nothing phone 2 and guys before moving ahead if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also press the subscribe button so if you guys have seen my previous video in which there were few settings missing these were the lock screen widgets which were missing on the initial build of nothing phone 2 which came out of the box other than that these quick setting tiles widgets were also missing so first let's talk about the new features added on nothing phone 2 with this newer build and one of them can be found in the glyph interface so if you scroll down here you can see a new option called composer from here you can create your own ringtone so if you have installed this latest update once you tap on it it will ask you to install an application from play store which is glyph composer once you install it now you have this glyph composer feature there are a few presets available like modem 606 etc you can choose between these options and later you also have an option to create your own ringtones so to create your own ringtone you just need to tap on this record button allow all the necessary permissions and later you can start recording or start creating your ringtones once you create it you can save it if you want you can rename the ringtone and after that you also get an option to share it with your friends there should also be an option to import the ringtones from your friends who are using nothing phone 2 and the glyph composer if you go to library and tap on the import from here you can import the ringtones from your friends who have already created some and once you have created a ringtone if you go to settings sound and vibration under ringtones now there's a new section called glyph composer so whatever ringtones you create those will be automatically saved here and later you guys can apply them later they have also introduced glyph progress for uber so that also can be found in the glyph light or you can say the glyph interface section scroll down here you can see it says glyph progress which says see updates in real time so here right now only uber application is being supported as far as i know in future zomato and swiggy will also be added where you'll be able to see the real time information of your delivery partner or your rides as for nothing this is still in beta phase so you might encounter some of the other issues or it may not be that accurate and after that if you go to lock screen now they have also added the option to add lock screen widgets so let me tap here so i have already set few lock screen widgets let me show you how does it look on the lock screen and here you can see this will also appear on the aod and if you turn on the screen there also you can see these widgets there are total eight widgets which you can add and you get options like analog clock digital clock world widgets quick settings and these are the quick setting tiles which are really useful for example if i tap here i can select any widget and with the one tap i can use the same thing for example if i set this wi-fi widget instead of always swiping down the notification panel and then turning on or off wi-fi settings i can just directly do it from the lock screen there we go these are quite handy settings which nothing have added you can also choose between different types of shapes and size and this also has this different color combination black ones are those which are not activated and the red ones are those which you have enabled so right now you can see i have enabled do not disturb mode so that appears in red color if i turn it off it will switch to black color and later they made some improvements in the notification sounds or notification ringtones under nothing machine to match the new segmented design of nothing phone 2. later they also added a new set of wallpapers which can be found here going to wallpaper section tapping on nothing so here you can see these are the four new wallpapers which have been added on nothing os 2.0 we had these six new wallpapers already but now another four wallpapers have been added after that with this new update 
Nothing also added this one-handed mode which was actually required on Nothing Phone 2 due to its larger screen. So that can be enabled from settings going to gestures one-handed mode and here you have two options to enable the one-handed mode. One of them is full screen into reach. You just have to swipe on this slider and the screen size will be reduced for one hand usage. Talking about the camera application, so here they did a lot of changes. With the first change log, they say they have added the support of 2x under portrait mode. So yes guys, they have added this support which wasn't present initially when this device was released. I also clicked few pictures in the portrait mode which you guys can see and I personally feel nothing still requires a lot of improvements when it comes to camera segment. In most of the cases, device fails to identify multiple subjects present in front of the camera on this particular image you can also see the subject is completely blown out but his shots or the track is still in focus if you have single subject in front of the camera nothing does a decent job both in 1x and 2x on the previous build if you were using 50 megapixel option then this motion option was completely disabled but after this update so if we go to photo section tapping on these settings and if I enable 50 MP, now you can see there is an option to enable the motion photo feature, which was not available on the previous build. And now there's a new watermark added on Nothing Phone 2. The previous watermark used to appear towards the beneath side in a white background. But now if you click pictures, you'll see all the details like time, date, focus, ISO in Nothing text format. Here you can see side by side photo of previous watermark and the newer one. You guys let me know in the comment section below which looks better, the new one or the previous one. After that nothing also says they have improved the HDR effectiveness across the board. Here are some of the samples and I personally did not find that much of improvements when it comes to HDR while clicking photos in normal mode also. In some cases device produces good images but I am not actually satisfied with the camera because there are some scenarios if the light is directly facing towards the camera the subject face is not at all visible other than that device seems to be clicking some good pictures only when good lighting is available then they also optimize the photo clarity when shooting between 4x and 10x so yes here i did notice little bit of improvement on the previous build the photos were having kind of paintish effect but now that seems to be fixed and i'm not even much worried about 4x or 10x zoom because i never click pictures in any of these modes but overall slight improvements can be seen compared to previous build. After that they say they have reduced the lag and optimized stability algorithm when shooting videos. Okay so this video I am recording in 4K at 60fps after the update and I can still feel dynamic range is still not improved and stutters are also there while recording the video. As per the change logs nothing says they have improved the dynamic range and the stutters which used to appear while recording the videos but I don't think it has been fixed. So this video we are recording with front camera and I think it's the same story you can see my background is completely washed out and HDR processing is too bad even after this update. But with the front camera you guys don't get to see any kind of jitters, video recording is quite stable. The only concern is the HDR or you can say the dynamic range. And at last some other improvements in which they say they have improved the battery and charging performance in extreme conditions. So that we'll get to know once we start using the device as a primary phone and it will take some cycles to get a better idea about the battery backup and other stuff. So I'll update you guys in the full review video which will be dropping very soon. And later they improved the consistency of wireless charging and battery share. I personally did not face any kind of issues. They also improved face unlock and fingerprint sensor performance that is already fast on nothing phone 2 so no complaints here and after that they have optimized these essential notification feature so some system improvements must have been done i've been using essential notification feature on my whatsapp application till now i did not face any kind of issues so guys these were all the changes what nothing have done with this new build of nothing os 2.0.1 for nothing phone 2 if you guys still have any kind of questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll soon drop the in-depth review, so stay tuned for it. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video. You got a mind, but even that could change. You could flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain. That's why to say, fake it till you make it, eh? And if you play that game, then you just might make a change. Rearrange all the bad to okay. Take the